What's up, y'all? Hello, hello. It's Koi. Back with Monday Motivations. Y'all know what time it is, right? I'm back again. Just when you thought that I was going to mess up. And I'm still crossing my fingers to see if this technology is going to come through for me correctly. <laughs> I'm trying all avenues, y'all. My computer done messed up. My phone done messed up. My camcorder done messed up. What else do I have, right? But like I was saying, that's what happens during the level up. You get tested every which way, possible, shape, or form. And sometimes you just, that's why you got to stay on your, your integrity and you got to stay um, devoted to your beliefs, having that integrity and, and stay grounded. And when I say by staying grounded, it's almost like you're just very level-headed, you know, um, open enough to receive and learn, but um, balanced and grounded enough to still stand in your own you, you know what I mean? Stand in your beliefs, you know? What are your beliefs? And speaking of beliefs, um, this is what popped in my head for Monday Motivation, okay? Because I'm, I've been trying to switch it up lately. I had the quotes going and I had my little angel cards going, you know what I mean? And, um, I got the communication card which reminded me because i kept hearing in my head keeping it real and if for those of that are out there that remember the Chappelle show and watched the Chappelle show <laughs> he had a skit where it was keeping it real goes wrong <laughs> and i remember just laughing so much or whatever at one of them actually all of them really but it, it can go wrong, you know, and I laughed so hard about it because like it's like my life story and it still is because I'm still learning to communicate and express my voice clearly, um, you know, from my heart. I'm looking down because this card says, it's the angel of communication, right? It says, I express clearly the voice and the wisdom of my heart. So I'm going to just read this and then I'm going to tell you what I want to say. Um, when we meet someone and connect with his or her inner light, we allow the most wonderful communication to happen. Be it with words, gestures, with a smile, or even silence. Which is something I'm learning. <laughs> Anywho, communication inspired by the soul radiance, interaction, and synchronicities in our life. So um, right off the bat, we can communicate, um, and I, I see this a lot with people through body language, you know. Sometimes someone's telling you one thing, and your body language is telling you another. For instance, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening to everything you're saying, but your body language is like this, or you're looking in your phone, and it's like, are you fully listening? Are you giving me your undivided attention right now? So when you're trying to get your point across, sometimes if you look at someone's body language, you can see that they're not clearly, truly listening to what you're saying and they're being closed off on you to some degree, if not all. And if you can see the signs, especially, especially with your loved ones, your family members, you know those people. I'm talking about adult people here. You know, I'm not talking about 10-year-old or whatever like that. I'm talking about a full adult. 18 and over, we'll just say. You know your family members, your loved ones, your friends, you know, enough to know their patterns. Because everybody has patterns. You know, it's like if I'm telling you something and you know when I'm like, yeah, you know, and I'm looking and I'm giving you eye contact and rubbing my ear, that I always do that when I'm not really listening and I'm somewhat hiding something. Pay attention to the sign. If I'm doing that and you're like, oh, she's doing that again. And then you're trying to put your, um, give your point across again. It's like, one, you already know what's going on when she does this, you know. And it's like, recognize the signs. You know what's up. Or just... You don't even have, sometimes you don't even have to see the signs. Sometimes you realize um, the feeling from within, you know what I mean? And this is what I'm talking about, about being grounded and being secure and having your integrity. Because when you have your belief system and you feel grounded and you feel just solid in your foundation, your own foundation that you made for yourself from your beliefs, um... 
sometimes you may believe that you have to say, you know, you have to say what is on your mind. You have to get things off your chest and you have to speak your truth. But if you have that discernment, if you have that better judgment of yourself and understand that, you know what, right now is not the time because one, they're not listening. Two, they don't care. Or maybe three, it's like it's just the timing's off. And it's frustrating like hell because I know I've been going through this and I'm still going through this. Because I, I really feel that communication is key to a lot of relationships. Family um, relationships, intimate relationships, romantic relationships, um, career, uh, co-worker relationships. Communication is key. None of us are mind readers. And if we were, you still need to... Um, Evaluate, you still need to, uh, what is that word? You still need to confirm what you really are trying to say to let somebody know that they understand. You know what I mean? Because if I was just popping in your mind, then it's like, well, did I understand it right though? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get off track, but I'm going to just leave it at this. When keeping it real goes wrong, it's because you are just disregarding all of the signs. You're disregarding the timing. You're disregarding that the person does not give up about what you're saying. You're disregarding that the person is closed up. You're disregarding a lot of things that your belief system, you know, you're disregarding what is going on, what your body is even telling you. And um, sometimes... You're trying to communicate to everybody else, but you forget how to communicate with yourself. You know, and if you don't talk to yourself, then honestly, you may be the crazy one. Not the crazy one that's talking to themselves, if you get what I'm saying. If not, rewind, okay? <laughs> but I'm not going to go on a tangent because I know how I do. But I just want to say, when keeping it real goes wrong, you got to realize and talk to yourself on why did it go wrong? Probably because you missed the, the signs from the beginning. Instead of trying to be heard, you didn't hear your own inner self. And you didn't look at the other person that you were trying to vocalize or express in some type of way. That they didn't care. That they didn't want to right now. Or right now was just not the right time for them to give you their ears and their respect in listening anyway. So through communication... I'm learning, and I'm going to say this, I'm learning how to express clearly that sometimes expressing clearly might just be through silence. So you can stop, listen, and look and feel what the situation is in the first place. So I'm going to just drop the mic right now. <laughs> and this to me is a platform that, you know what, this gives you when you want to look at this message, when you want to hear this message, whoever wants to listen to this message or what. So sometimes you gotta find your own voice and figure out who you're talking to, figure out when to say things and figure out sometimes, it doesn't matter how they, they re respond to what you just said. As Long as you understand what you're trying to get across, then you did your job. It's how they wanna receive it, that's their job. So, again, I'm going to just leave it at that. When we're talking about communicating, it's not always through your voice. Sometimes it's through your body language. Sometimes it's just listening. So you can understand that communication from beginning. And all you got to say is through a gracefully way. Okay, I get you. So, if you get me, give me that heart. <laughs> Tap on that like. You know, whatever. But, um, anywho. I hope you guys have a great Monday. I, I hope you find some type of motivation in this. And inspiration in this video. That can carry you through the rest of the week. And, um, just find an understanding, you know. Because I just want to keep it real. You know, and I'm hoping that I'm keeping it real through here is not going wrong. Uh, maybe my reactions and how I respond in real life with people in front of me may be keeping it real going wrong. But 
I'm still practicing. I can't say that I have it all because I don't. And even when I feel that I may have it all, it's still room for me to grow. And that's what it's about, at least for me. And that's part of my foundations. And that's how I stay true to myself with my integrity because I know that I'm always open to grow and I'm always open to learning as well as to teach. So it goes hand in hand, just like expressing and receiving it goes hand in hand. So again, great day to you and great week and I'm out.